What's up YouTube? Today we're going to learn my favorite loop knot. I use this loop knot for corkies, jerk baits, anything where you want extra action on the water. It's also a great knot for live bait. It's the canoe man loop knot. The reason I like it, it's fairly strong and it is super easy to tie. I think if you don't know how to tie a knot, if you can't tie a knot successfully when you're on the water, on the boat, on the kayak, 15 mile an hour headwinds, belly deep wade fishing, it's not a good knot, no matter how strong it is. So the canoe man loop knot for me is the simplest loop knot to tie and it's pretty strong. All right, let's go to the bench and learn how to tie this knot. All right, so here we go. Got some paracord here. I like to have kind of a fairly long tag in to give me a lot of room to play with. Um, so you just kind of stretch it out, tag end on my left, main line on my right. Again, I'm typically tying this on a liter, fluorocarbon monofilament liter. Works certainly with braid uh, without a problem. Um, I'm typically throwing a liter when I'm uh, using a loop knot because I'm using this on jerk baits, uh, Paul Brown corkies, uh, live baits, uh, to tie on a hook. Uh, provides superior lure action for those type of lures and on live bait it gives the bait a little bit more freedom before it starts uh, getting that line resistance. So you get a little bit more action I think. Alright, so here we go. Again, tag in on my left, main line on my right. I'm going to grab my left hand, take a loop over the top just like that and notice I'm taking my tag end my main line is going up and over I end up over the main line my tag end ends up over the main line all right I'm gonna hold that right there just like that I'm gonna make another same exact loop all right so again boom and boom all right now at this point what I like to do is that first loop I made I'm gonna pull on my tag end my left hand and make it a little bit smaller and push this back and make this a little bit bigger because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this back loop and run it through my front loop. Okay, the easiest way to do that, grab the back loop, kind of shove it behind just like this, and then grab that back loop, pull it through. Then I'm going to grab my tag end and start to pull it down and make sure that I got kind of a setup like this, all right? I've taken that front loop, I've made it pretty small, kind of lassoed around in effect, my back loop. My back loop is standing up nice and straight. Okay, that's going to make this next step really, really easy and why I like this loop knot. When you need to tie off on the water and rough conditions, um, this is what makes it really easy. So now I have the whole knot basically in my right hand, holding it steady. Tag end is here. I got a carabiner which represents my lure, right, I'm going to take that, put it across Cross my tag, grab my tag, let the lure sit there. Tag goes through this big loop knot, a big loop, excuse me, right here. And then boom. Now, what I like to do is take my pinky and put it inside the main loop. This kind of keeps me from over cinching it. Um, at this point, my right hand, I can let it go, it'll be free. Grab my main line, hold my tag, and I just like to pull the main line to get it tight. Okay, so we're going to tighten it up here. With paracord, it's a little bit tougher than regular. Grab my tag in, pull it. Now you see when I grab my tag, it's going to make this, this loop um, cinch down a little much like that, right? So you want to make sure you're keeping the tension on the main line and you're just holding the tag to make sure it's not going. All right, again, with paracord, it's a bit wonkier. Um, you want to make sure it pops out like that, and then I'm good to go, right? Now I've got a super tight line. My lure has plenty of room to float around here. My live bait has plenty of room to go, and I'm good to go. You can snip off this tag end, but again, you'll notice the tag end points down away to the lure. That makes it fairly um, weedless, kind of stays out of the way. If you want to, you can, tat, you can uh, snip it. I'm a little OCD about that, so I like to snip it pretty tight. But again, you have a super strong loop knot, super easy to tie, and there it is, the Canoe Man Loop Knot. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit a like, join us on our adventure.